Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here on this Saturday evening. Um, trying to get some supper made. I haven't really felt like cooking, so I'm a little late on the game here. Uh, today is my cheat day. I've had a little bit of goodies today, and that could be partly the reason why I'm not in too big a hurry. So, uh, as you can tell by the thumbnail, my choice today are these... Uh, goodies right here um, we're gonna have some onion with it a little bit of dill relish a little yellow mustard a little bit of cat's chop if I decide to maybe a sprinkle of some cheese And I bought these uh, little Kato buns. So I got my pan warming up. Um, what am I going to use? Let's use let's use some uh, garlic and herb butter, guys. Why not? Something a little different. This ain't something I'd usually use for this. I usually use this for my uh, shrimp that I like to cook up every week. So it's kind of been one of those days where you just really want to sleep all day. But I have my granddaughters here, and uh, I didn't really get to sleep. So I like to make sure that I spend quality time with my grandkids when they're here. That way somebody in this world is going to remember me and maybe miss me when I'm gone. Somebody. So, I may only do two buns. I like big buns. Anyway. I'm going to put these in here. I didn't even think about doing that until just now. But, uh, yeah, we'll put these in here for just a minute. Huh? Yeah? Pretty good? All right, let's kick it up a little bit. Put a couple in here like so. I'm gonna cook a couple of extra because my wife will come home and she might just wanna have one, so. Probably not though. But we'll cook up a few. We'll cook up six of them. And one thing you could do is uh, put your onion in here, cut maybe some onion up, throw it in there as well. I'm not going to do that though. Even though that sounds really good. Nah, I won't do it. So I've been sitting around playing my video game and 
binging on a little bit of junk food. I'll be honest, I like my cheat day, but at the same time I don't because it really does. You can tell the difference when you're eating some uh, junk food compared to just your normal, like your nutritional, like really good foods that I try to eat throughout the week. Uh, you can really tell the difference. So, uh, my cheat day is kind of a love-hate thing. But, anyway, we're going to enjoy it anyway. As best we can. So, we got uh, Thanksgiving coming up next week. Uh, we only go to school two days next week, so that's pretty good. I'm going to turn that fan on. Let's take a look at the dogs. Let's look at the dogs. Yeah, looking good, dogs. One. And I'm not going to have anything else to go with them because I've already had a bag of chips today. Again, my cheat day. So I've already had a bag of chips and uh, I don't want any more of that kind of garbage. Oh yeah. Looking pretty good. Come on now, quit playing with me. So let's go ahead and get some onion ready. And uh, please forgive me when I walk. I'm not used to these wood floors you know, wood foundation in that, uh, we, the house that we moved out of had concrete, so there wasn't a whole lot of vibration and all that from, uh, walking. So now everybody sounds like a 500 pound sumo wrestler when they walk. So this week I had a pretty good workout week. Not too bad. So this is all the onion I'm gonna cut up. Just take a little piece out of there and cut it up. So anyway, uh, anyway, like I said, yeah, we got Thanksgiving coming up. Let's get the camera over here just, just up here. How you doing? The older I get, the more I really don't care for Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners, that type of stuff. I could eat my normal everyday meals that I eat and be okay with it. I think after so many years of having that same food every year, 
It kind of gets old to some people. That's kind of weird, though, because you only really do it, like, one time a year, and you get tired of it sometimes. Whereas you can eat some food every day and you never get tired of it, like me with, like, eggs and stuff. So, or, like, you know, my ground turkey that I make and stuff like that. I can eat that kind of stuff every day. They're about done, guys. I don't think I want any cheese. No cheese, please. I don't feel like cheese. <clears throat> no cheese, no cheese. So, those dogs are done. <sighs> so at this point in time, we're gonna move the camera to where we can get a little view of making the dog. Let's make the dog. All right. That's, that's a good looking dog. Good looking dog. Not bad guys, not bad. Just a little meal. Mayo, a little ketchup. I don't want no mayonnaise. I know some people do. Some people like mayonnaise. And let's do a little onion. Uh oh. We got some trying to escape. There you go. Couple of good looking dogs right there. Look at there. Huh? So here we are guys, we get to enjoy our meal. Didn't take very long, pretty quick uh, little meal there. And uh, to wash this down, not only am I gonna have water, but I am gonna have a little ice cream. I bought some little Klondike bars. So I'll probably have about 15 of those, <laughs> one of those. There it is. We know it's gonna be a little messy. Mmm. Mmm.
doing the bun in the skillet and the garlic and herb butter. That was pretty sick. Mm. That's really good, guys. Pretty simple. Easy, mate. I don't recommend eating this kind of stuff all the time. Um, let's face it, there's good meats and there's bad meats. Meats like this, not necessarily so good. So, now if it's either go hungry or this, yeah, eat this. But if you have the option, keep this kind of stuff to a minimal. But that's why this is my cheat day. So, this upcoming week, of course, it's Thanksgiving, like I mentioned, but, you know, that don't mean that things are going to be different. We're still on track. I work out every day. It don't matter if it's a holiday or not. Holiday don't last 24 hours. You know, you're not doing stuff like that usually 24 hours. You got time in there to work out and to do something else for yourself if you need to. Cardio or something. So, I know it's probably going to be next year, 2024, and that's kind of how, I, how I've seen it for a while, where my bench will hopefully go up a little bit more. And uh, I still have a goal uh, to get 400 pounds on, on my bench. And for my deadlift, my goal is 500 pounds. So I really want to get that. You know, there's some things in life you want to do before you die. That's a couple of things I'd like to do before I die. It's good to have some kind of goal when you're working out or any kind of thing to do with fitness, have some kind of little goal. That don't mean you gotta have, you know, a goal to lift super heavy weights, but you can. And it don't matter your age either. So, but you can have other small goals along the way. Make other small goals, reach those, make other small goals. You know, it kind of helps to drive you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm glad I decided to have hot dogs today. Really good. Not something I normally eat. Mm -mm -mm. So... Anyway, uh, if, you, if you've been keeping up with the channel, you know I got my building out back here that I want to turn into my gym eventually, but I've lost a lot of my steam. Uh, I don't have a lot of get up and go for that because I'm comfortable in my office. I got everything in my office. I got my room. So now I kind of lost my steam to be going and going and going. So, it'll probably be a while before I get that building done, and plus money, you know. Uh, I, got, I got my office done because I had a certain amount of money that I had 
uh, from selling our house, you know, so uh, I was given, my wife and I split up, you know, parts of the money and did different things with it. And that's how I got my office done. But I'll get it done eventually. Most of you would just work out in it how it is. It's not bad. But it's it's not a nice finished room like I'm used to being in. So. Anyway. Hmm. Small goals. Make goals. Another goal I have is to get better on my drums. You know, I don't tell people that I play the drums. I tell them I just like to make noise. I like to hit things. But I'd like to get to a point where I can say, yeah, I can play drums a little bit. You know? A little goal, a little, little step right there. Just, yeah, I can play the drums a little bit. So 2024, I want to make sure, you know, Make sure that I get a little better. Um, I really don't practice a whole lot. Uh, but whenever I do sit down to make some noise, I do have a good time. Well, anyway, I just wanted to share some time with you, show you what I'm making, show you what I'm eating today, tonight. Talk about a couple things. And uh, anyway, I'm going to finish my dog, get me some French vanilla coffee, have me a Klondike bar, enjoy the rest of my night because I earned it. Did you earn yours? Did you earn your cheat day? Did you earn your time to sit around and do nothing? If not, make that a goal. Make that a small goal. To start doing something every day, health-wise, be it diet, exercise, or both. You need both. Try to do some healthy stuff for yourself. Make small goals in your days, uh, you know, and uh, reach those and make other goals. And uh, if you like the content, if you like the channel, if you find, if you look at some videos and you think, hmm, this guy's okay. He's not bad. Maybe if you don't mind, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beat Down. That's me, Michael, your hot dog eating host. Anyway, get up, get out, get red, do it to it. We'll see you next time on the Body Beat Down. Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it!